I want to talk a bit about behaviors. Often behaviors are seen as intentional acts. Someone knows better and they're choosing to do wrong. But it's not that simple. And it's important to look at it from the bigger picture, especially if you're a mental health professional, a parent, an educator, someone that is impacted and maybe in a position to help the child or the teen or the person with this behavioral issue. Behaviors are the nervous system's best attempt at survival, and sometimes it's not even conscious. When you think about um, from a nervous system perspective, behaviors are often a solution to some problem, even if someone doesn't even realize it. There could be some effects from in utero trauma, pre-verbal trauma from before the child could speak or has conscious memory or from when someone was dissociative and they experienced something and they don't have any direct memory of it. Even intergenerational trauma can cause behaviors that are otherwise unexplainable. I know when someone's traumatized, imagine someone that may have um, experienced abuse or neglect. Imagine that a, a child that um, did not eat for extended periods of time. Those hunger cues in their stomach may equate to that felt sense of I'm gonna die. It may not even register as a thought, but it may be a feeling of impending death. So that may cause someone to steal food or to act in ways that otherwise would not occur. I know, um, the difference between sending a child to bed without dinner, um, a child that has been traumatized and neglected and without food in their early years of life, compared to a child that has, you're going to see a very different reaction because it's not um, a consequence as much as oh, I could die because that child's nervous system has experienced trauma that has associated those hunger pains that felt sense of hunger with an you know, a really bad situation. Often um, it could be near death experience. So big behaviors can be the result or lying. Sometimes people lie and they may even not even realize they're lying. It can become habitual early on in life. There could have need to be like this, um, uh, telling things that were not the truth just to be able to survive. Even um, bathroom issues. When children have been made to, you know, set in dirty diapers in their early years of life and they um, really get familiar with the, maybe the smells and the sensation of being in a diaper that is soiled, later on when they don't have any familiarity in their life they may um have you know um uh, they may defecate they may have like poop accidents uh just to have that sense of familiarity because familiarity feels safe to the nervous system so before we mark off behavior as intentional and really think you know this child needs to learn better look underneath it and see what is the actual functionality of this behavior and what has this child experienced that has led to what is happening right now and that can guide our treatment in ways that can be really helpful all right take care i'm jackie flynn